Connecting the Valve Index controllers to the Focus Vision is easier than ever. Let's learn how it's done. A few community members mentioned that the last tutorial I made was out of date. And since that last video, the community has shared some very valuable and helpful feedback. After doing some more research and deeper digging, I found a more efficient way to connect the two devices. For the hardware, you'll want your Vive Focus Vision along with the controllers, the Valve Index controllers, one Vive Tracker 2.0 or 3.0, either works. I've tried many different trackers and the Vive 3.0 trackers are by far my favorite full body tracker trackers that I've used. Plus, the 3.0s will be lighter to wear on your head. You can also skip out entirely on getting trackers if you want to do manual calibration, which I'll talk more about later. You're going to need two dongles for the index controllers and one for the tracker you choose if you go the continuous calibration route. So we'll be talking about manual calibration and continuous calibration and the difference between those two a little bit later. The index controllers do not come with dongles. You can check out the link in the description to get access to buying singular dongles at a time. Next, you'll need a track strap or a way of strapping your tracker to your headset. You can find 3D mounts online, but in a pinch, a tracker strap will do. As for the base stations, you can either have two 1.0 base stations or two 2.0 base stations for most basic VR setups. If you plan on using VR frequently or expanding your space in the future, the 2.0 base stations are a better long-term investment. Base station 2.0 units can track up to 10 by 10 meters with four stations, while 1.0 base stations are limited to about 4 by 4 meters. Additionally, the 1.0 system only supports up to two base stations, whereas the 2.0 system supports up to four, allowing for better coverage and tracking stability. With base station 2.0, you also get a wider field of view, improved range, and more robust tracking, especially in larger or irregularly shaped setups. For your software, you'll want Vive Hub, which is a way to to connect your focus vision to your PC, Steam VR to run VR, and Space Calibrator on Steam. In my previous video, I referenced a much earlier version that is outdated. I'm going to walk you through Space Calibrator that was released on Steam in 2025 for this video. Step number one is to download Space Calibrator and Steam VR on Steam. This is a software that has been developed by a third party source. It allows you to mix and match different VR devices with Steam VR. Do note that HTC Vive is not directly involved with the development of this software, meaning that our support for hardware is not directly controlled by us. The making of this video has been aimed to support the Vive Focus Vision users interested in using the index controllers with the headset. We understand this has been a super popular question, so we wanted to make a video for you to be able to help you understand that these two can connect before making your purchasing decision. And next, you'll want to make sure that you have Steam VR downloaded. Step number two is to connect the Vive Focus Vision to your PC. Download the Vive Hub and begin setting up this software to connect your headset to your PC. And I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Let's set it up together now. So I'm going to show you how to download Vive Hub because there's a bit of steps and things you have to go through. So we'll click download for Windows or for Mac, depending on what you're using. And then you'll open that EXE and it's going to take a while to prepare. So now is another good time to pet your cats, do some laundry, something like that. I don't know. Let me see if we can get my cat. Momo, come here. We got him. Hello. There's three different options here that you can look at. So the first one is Vive Streaming. If you have a Vive Streaming cable to reach 120 Hertz, which I highly recommend if you do intense VR, PC VR gaming, Vive Streaming you'll want. Vive Desk is really cool. It's a, actually a mixed reality way to be able to see your desktop. So it's a very great productivity app, which I highly recommend. And then the Vive Ultimate Trackers are a way to get full body tracking with the Vive Focus Vision as well. I have all three of these, so we're gonna have all those checked. You can just click them to uncheck them if you don't want them. And then we'll click Agree, and I'm gonna download it to my main drive. We'll let that install. All right, once your installation was completed successfully, we can click Finish. And then this is my first time setting it up. Actually, I've set it up like a lot of times. <laughs> so it doesn't know, it's lying to me. Okay, select device type. This is a headset that we're setting up. You can use the XR Elite, of course. I'm using the Vive Focus Vision, and this is just giving you more information on the display port, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. We can just click Next. Next, next, good to go. And I'm just gonna X out the Vive streaming setup because we don't need that right now. So we're just looking for this setup here and then we're gonna hop over to our headset to connect the headset to Vive Hub. You'll go to library, connect to your computer. Make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC on your as on your headset. Okay, and we can see it here up here and we're gonna click on that. And then it should have a scan, a QR code. Okay, great, that's checked. 
We're good to go. And now you can go back to the library and launch Steam VR. Step number three is to set up your room with Steam VR. First, make sure your base stations are set up. I'm using the 2.0 base stations and they're plugged in and working. Plug in all three dongles. Each one should be plugged into a 2.0 blue USB port if you have them. Connect them by going to the burger menu, devices, and pair controllers. Select the index controllers and hold down B and the start button until the index controller is blinking. Once the light turns green, you're good to go. Then go to the burger menu, room setup, and follow the instructions on screen. Step number four is calibration. The first way you can calibrate is through manual calibration. You can do this by going to Space Calibrator when it launches, which should launch every time you launch Steam VR. If it doesn't launch, go to the burger menu, settings, then turn on advanced settings, go to startup and shutdown, and select manage add-ons. Then turn on Space Calibrator. Now let's hop into the Space Calibrator once it launches. Select the Vive Cosmos controller, controller left, and knuckles left. I recommend choosing slow or very slow calibration for the best results. Walk around your space holding the controllers together and doing an infinity sign motion. If you use this method, you'll have to recalibrate throughout your play session to avoid potential drift. After that, you can place the focus vision controllers on a surface near you and leave them turned on. Now, for those who want to avoid having to continuously recalibrate, that's where continuous calibration comes in and where the 3.0 or 2.0 tracker also comes in. To pair a tracker, go to the burger menu, devices, pair controllers, HTC Vive controller. You'll wait till it's blinking as shown on screen and wait for it to turn to green, just like the index controller. You will want to run through the manual calibration process that I showed you earlier before the continuous calibration button comes up as an option. After one round of manual calibration, attach your tracker to your headset, turn it on along with your Vive Index controllers, and select Vive Focus Vision, then select 3.0 Tracker, and now click Continuous Calibration. Some individuals have mentioned that checking the static recalibration helps improve their calibration, so feel free to turn that on and experiment with it. As long as you have all of your devices turned on and the continuous calibration running, you should be able to avoid recalibrating every play session. You should have access to your index controllers now and be able to hop into whatever game you were wanting to play. Now you can continue making your setup even stronger by getting the Vive Ultimate trackers. If you want to learn more about full body tracking, check out this video next.